Hey guys, it's Laura. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite book covers. I have accumulated 10 books that I just love the covers on and they're my favorites. I've been asked about this a lot, just like randomly, oh Laura, what's your favorite book cover? And just having nothing to do with the book or the story, just what I think looks pretty. So I'm just going to run through my top 10 favorites and um, yeah, let's just get started. The first one is The Selection by Kira Cass. I really like this one. It's very pretty. I think the color is gorgeous and I just love it. I think it's like really cool and classy and Pretty. I don't know. I like it a lot. Next is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. Obviously the new covers. Um, all three are gorgeous. I just love this one a lot because I think the color is super pretty as well. But I just love how they look and how they feel. They're really pretty. But yes. Next is Sweet Thing by Renee Carlino. I really, really like this one. It has like the staff on there because this is a book that has a lot of music in it. So there's like the staffs running down um, the sides and it has like a guitar pick and a heart which is so cute. And it has like Mia and... Uh, will I think and I love it I just think it's really really pretty and it's adorable so I love it I love this book next is beautiful oblivion by Jamie McGuire I just think this is gorgeous it has like the peacock feathers and the coloring is just so pretty and it's like metallic I love it so this is definitely one of my favorites I think it's gorgeous next is fangirl by rainbow rowell it's kind of simple but I really really like it it has you know Kath sitting on top of the letters and Levi leaning over and it kind of has like the bubbles and her writing fan fiction and it just describes the book really really well and I thought it was really cute and I love how it's a cartoon. I really also like the Eleanor and Park one but I think this one I like a little bit. Yes, more. it's one of my favorites. Next is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I know a lot of people don't really like this one but I think it's so cool. It has like the mechanical leg and it's like just all kind of dark and then like the pop of red on the shoe and I just think it's gorgeous. I don't know, I really really like it so yes and this is the paperback version but I know the hard copy is obviously the same but I do like it. I like how it feels and I think it's pretty. I just really like it. Next we have The Duff by Cody Keplinger. Um, I just really like this. I think it's kind of cool. It has like the duff like all across and then Bianca blowing her bubble gum and I just really like it. I think it's kind of cool. I don't usually like to have people on the covers of books because it's kind of like ruins your imagination for what you think they look like but I think in this case it worked pretty well so I do like this cover a lot. I think it's kind of cool. Next is The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath. This is one of my all-time favorite books. Sylvia Plath is my all-time favorite favorite writer and um, this version of the cover is absolutely gorgeous. You know it has the legs with the Mary Janes and like the dress and it's kind of faded and it looks kind of mysterious and dark but then you got like the pink lettering and stuff and it just looks great and I just love it. I love this cover so yes it's one of my favorites. Another favorite of mine is the Looking for Alaska cover by John Green. The one without the candle I do prefer. Um, but yeah I really really like this cover. I think it's just kind of simplistic but it describes the book really well. I think anybody that's read the book could kind of decipher what this means and the back also carries on with the smoke and I just think it looks great. So I really do like this cover. And the last book that I love the cover to is Beautiful Disaster by Jamie McGuire. A reason I really like this cover is because again it's kind of simple. It just has the jar with the butterfly in it and you don't really have to read the book to understand the cover I guess because it's beautiful disaster and then it's a butterfly trapped in a jar which basically is a beautiful disaster you know a butterfly is beautiful but it's trapped and it's like which is kind of how Jamie McGuire explains the like concept of the cover when she's asked so I think that makes a lot of sense and I think it's kind of cool and it doesn't really have anything to do with the book the butterfly in the jar that has like no meaning towards the book but the beautiful disaster part does but I like how it's like a beautiful disaster is the cover it's like a literal book title so I really like that a lot so that's basically it if you guys have any favorite book covers make sure you let me know about them in the comments below I'd be very interested to know and I'll make sure I get back to you as soon as I can so I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you all very very soon love you all bye I'm sorry, but